We begin tonight with some bad news on the job front as hundreds of people are being laid off from the Tyson food plant here in Columbia. This after they announced they're closing two of their facilities. Our Peyton Lewis has details on how the closure is going to impact local families in the Midlands. Peyton. JR today I went to the Tyson plant off Bluff Road where employees got the news that their plant is being closed. Here's what one worker had to say. My, my team members we're really distraught. After six years of working at the Tyson food plant in Columbia, Gene Spencer says he and his more than 200 co-workers are being laid off in the near future. After Tyson announced the closure of their Columbia plant and another plant in Jacksonville. Thanksgiving around the corner. Christmas is going to be a matter of weeks away. And then we're going to be starting uh, 2024 unemployed. Tyson Foods employs 142,000 people in facilities across the United States, and they've announced closures of six plants this year, including the Columbia facility off Bluff Road. In their third quarter earnings published in August, Tyson reported some financial improvements, but also some losses. The company attached a statement to the report saying, quote, the difficult decision to close four chicken facilities demonstrates our commitment to bold action and operational excellence as we drive performance, including lower costs and improving capacity utilization and build on our strategy of making Tyson Foods stronger in the long term. The facility in Columbia is set to close on January 8th in 2024. Employees impacted by the plant closure in Columbia are reporting that they've been offered a $1,000 severance package if they stay until the closing day, or they can move to Texas to continue at Tyson. Who's in the shape to go all the way to Texas moving their family like that? So if you ain't never been somewhere, how are we supposed to find where to live at and all that stuff? In 60 days, mind you. Tyson Foods did release an updated statement about the Columbia and Jacksonville facility closures Friday, saying, quote, we're making the difficult decision to close two of our case-ready value-added plants. We understand the impact of this decision on our team members. We'll make every effort to offer them opportunities to remain with the company at other locations, and we'll partner with state and local officials to provide additional resources. With a focus on optimizing our operational footprint, we are reallocating resources to operate as efficiently as possible while maintaining ample capacity to serve our customers. And we'll continue to keep everyone updated on this story as the plant prepares to close. Reporting in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTV.